Shalom Israel. I like to say all praises, honor, and glory be to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Shalom to Lekman out there doing his work of faith and his labor of love and truth and his sincerity. All right, now I'm going to get into a quick lesson today called uh, Poor Kings. All right, so um, I got here on um, Ezekiel chapter 16. I started out uh, verse 10. Uh, this is the Lord speaking. All right, it says, um, uh, I clothed thee also with border work, and shod thee with badger skin, and I girded thee about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee also with ornaments, and I put bracelets upon thy hands, and a chain upon thy neck, and a chain on thy neck. And I put a jewel on thy forehead, and earrings in thy ear, and a beautiful crown upon thy head. That was decked, that was decked, that <coughs> thus was thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen and silk and broidered work, and thou did eat flour and fine flour and honey and oil, and thou was exceeding beautiful, and thou didst prosper into a kingdom, and thy renown went forth among the heathen for thy beauty, for it was perfect through my comeliness, which I had put upon thee, saith the Lord power. Right, so this is the Lord, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, explaining how how he made us Rich, how he put us into a a, a, a a righteous state of a kingdom, man. You know, through us, uh, you know, back in ancient times, following his law, statutes, and commandments, and he uplifted us, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and brought us into physical riches and made us a great kingdom, man. All right, and it says, uh, verse 15, But thou didst trust in thine own beauty, and plays the harlot because of thy renown, and pours out thy fornications on every one that passed by his it was. Right, so... You know what I mean? What? Israel started getting prideful, man. You know what I'm saying? Based off of those material things, man. Based off they they beauty and want to seek the uh, the ways of the other nations based upon that, man. You know? That's why, you know what I mean? Like, what? You can't trust in riches, man. And that's why another good reason, too, why the Lord, you know what I mean, keeps us uh, us men in this truth. Now, well, majority of us at a very low estate, man. You know? Because you can easily get blinded by that, by that money demon, by that money God, man. You know? By that mammon, man. All right, and, and how we learn, and we learn how to be content what what wherever whatever state we are in, man. You know, cause that that money can be blinded, man. You know. Um, but I'm 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 a jump I'm a jump uh to uh, verse thirty two. It says uh, but as a wife that committeth adultery with uh, take of strangers instead of her husband, they give gifts to all whores, but thou givest thy gifts to all thy lovers and hires them. That that they may come unto thee on every side for thy whoredom. Right, so it's just I mean, furthermore explaining how what Israel started playing the harlot, man. I mean, based upon those riches started going off, man. And these are some of the main reasons why the Lord stripped us of all those Jews and all of those riches, man. And I mean, we already had the riches of the kingdom, which was the knowledge, the understanding, the wisdom, the law, statutes, the commandments of the Most High. But then He gave us the physical riches on top of that. But because of I mean, Israel started going off. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the most most high stripped us away from those things, man. I'm gonna just read on a little bit, jump down. It says, uh, verse 39. It says, And I will give thee into their hand, and they shall throw down thine eminent place, and shall break down thy high places. They shall strip thee also of thy clothes, and shall take thy fine their fair jewels, and leave thee naked and bare. Right, so that's what the other nations did, you know what I'm saying? By by the power spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So the most high stripped us of that kingship, man. But does that, that rightful heir, that rightful heir to the throne, that rightful kingship, did that still belong to us? Yes, it does, man. But it's just been stripped away from us, you know what I mean, at for, for a moment of time, man. Because we went off, man. You know what I'm saying? So based upon that, we are poor kings, man. You know what I mean, cause the, 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 the throne, the kingship still belongs, you know what I mean, to, to uh Yahweh Shai, the son and to and to us, you know what I'm saying, being joint heirs with Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. So we still do maintain the kingdom, you know, but it's just been stripped away from us for a point in time. So right now we are in a poor state. So therefore, we are poor kings, man. You know what I'm saying? So during these last times, what? Majority of the men of the Lord is going to be poor, man. You know what I mean? And you can't be going around despising the poor and especially the elders, man. You know what I'm saying? We all here to help each other, man. You know? Um, so basically, you know what I'm saying? That's the reason why we, 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 we poor kings right now, man. But you know what I mean? But wicked niggas out there... 
they don't they don't seem to understand that fact, man. And this this is the basic things within the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? Showing why we are at a poor state because we went the hell off, man. And and plus this is for our purification, man. You know what I'm saying? But these wicked ass niggas they don't understand that, man. And these basic principles within these scriptures, man. Okay. Uh, this next scripture I got here is uh Proverbs chapter twenty nine, verse uh <coughs> verse seven. It says, "The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it." So it said, "What the righteous considereth the cause of the poor." So I just gave you the the, the cause of the poor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, through 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 Ezekiel sixteen. I mean the cause. What we're poor now because what we played the harlot with those other nations, man. But it said the righteous considereth the cause of the poor, which goes to show, nigga, Izar, you know what I'm saying? Fake ass last dragon, Bruce Leroy ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? That goes to show that what? You're not righteous, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't, you don't consider the cause of the poor, you know what I mean? Or, or why we would have to help brothers out. This is common sense, basic knowledge within the scriptures, man, you know? So I'm going to read it again. It says, the righteous considereth the cause of the poor. Because we went off from the most high. You know what I mean? We all in this poor state. It's for purification. But the wicked regardeth not to know it. But right. So you wicked as hell. So you putting off the reasons. You know what I mean? Knowing damn good and well. While we're in these poor conditions. While we're in this state man. You know what I'm saying? And you. And what they said. Well you got like four or five years. However much time you got. Within this truth. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a brother. As much younger than you. In this truth. And I understand. That's basic understanding of these scriptures man. You know what I'm saying? Which just goes to show that you're a wicked ass nigga and you off for that, man. You know what I'm saying? The most high deals with the poor, man. I mean, this is this basic knowledge throughout these scriptures, man. Showing, you know what I mean? That what? That we them poor kings, man. You know? Um, next script I got here is, um, yeah, uh, it's uh, James chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have God, have the most high, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world? Rich in faith, right? So what are we supposed to be rich in, man? In in faith, and in, 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 in not in these carnal things, man. You know what I mean? Every brother don't know it, don't have don't have the means like that, man. And that's why we we there to, to help pick the brothers up in that time of need, man. That's why I say bear ye one another's burdens, man. You know what I mean? To help brothers out in that time of need, man. Alright? Have the most high have not the most high chosen the poor of this world? I mean, wh who's the poor of this world? That's Israelites, man. That's us. That's Israel, man. All right? Rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him. Right? And we know that we love the most high by keeping, you know what I mean, his Lord's statutes and commandments to the best of our ability and following him in righteousness, man. And it said what? And heirs of the kingdom. So even though the Most High brought us to this lower state, we still do possess that kingdom because we the heirs because he promised it us to, unto us and he's not going to break his promise, man. You know what I'm saying? So we still do have that kingship. We are just, we are poor kings. We're just in the, in the lower state right now. And this so-called white man, this devil, got his hands down, down our throat right now, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Most High is going to bring us and deliver us up out of this very shortly, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, next script I got, what I got here is... Uh, this is uh, Luke chapter uh, uh, 6, verse 20. It says, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples, as Yahweh speaking, and said, Blessed be the poor, for yours is the kingdom of the Most High. You know what I'm saying? So what? We, we do possess the kingdom. We possess the kingdom what? Through these scriptures, man. That's how we possess the kingdom, man. That's how we still... Have, supposed to have a ruling class mentality. That's how we still know that we have kingship is through these scriptures, man. Through this knowledge, man. Not physical riches, man. Alright? Not physical riches, you damn dummy. Alright? Um, <clears throat> this next script right here is uh, it's, uh, Romans chapter 13. Uh, I start at verse 7. It says, now matter of fact, I start at uh, verse 5. It says, Wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake, right? So you got to be subject, now I mean, what, unto the higher powers. And overall, when it's talking about the higher powers, the higher powers is what? It's what the elders within Israel, man. But not, not for just for wrath's sake, but for your conscience sake, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to know within your conscience that what? That I'm up under these great men. I, you know what I mean? I have to follow them. 
know what I mean? Not not in wickedness, but in righteousness. Know what I mean, looking up the things that they're telling me to look up and, and to make sure, you know what I'm saying, that, that I'm going according to the right doctrine, but these men watch over our souls. So you got to know that for conscience sake, man. And you got to put that into consideration for your own self. The scriptures say what? Be persuaded in your own mind, man. Just how, how the brothers, um, know what I mean, rebuked the tip and them, just, just did the lesson on you. You know what I mean? How you were saying that that you didn't look at the scriptures for your own self, man. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they, and they broke it down and they, and they cut the shit out of you with that, man. Showing that you a dumbass, man. All right? It says, uh, verse 6, for, for this cause pay ye tribute also. You know what I mean? For they are the most highest ministers attending continually upon this very thing. You know what I'm saying? So what? Pay tribute, man. You know what I mean? You got to give tribute to who tribute is due, man. You know what I mean? says, verse 7, Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fair to whom fair, honor to whom honor. Verse 8 says, Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Right, so it says, Owe no man nothing. So you talking about all this money that, that brother's been kicking out, you know what I mean, for Elder Gabar, I mean, other Ram Lop, so on and so forth, but the scripture clearly show you what, owe no man nothing. So that's supposed to be a light thing for you to, to kick a few dollars up, you know what I'm saying, to, to hold your brothers down, to hold the elders down, man. You know what I'm saying? That should be a light thing for you. It said, owe no man nothing except for love, man. And, and you giving up your bread for another brother, but that's showing love, man. You know what I'm saying? That's showing love out of the kindness in your heart, man. You know what I mean? The scripture say too, what, uh, give... Now, I mean, Second Corinthians nine to seven. Know what I mean, give out of not out of necessity. Know what I mean, but but uh, but out of out of a cheerful heart. For the most I love a cheerful giver, man. You know what I'm saying. So you got to be willing to give, man. You know what I mean. You got to be willing to give, man. But um, yeah. Next script I got here is um, uh, it's uh, Ecclesiastes chapter uh nine. I start at uh. Yeah, started uh, verse 14, it says, There was a little city, and few men within it. And there came a great king against it, and besieged it, and built great bulwarks against it. So, common sense, you know what I'm saying? You got one uh, uh, kingdom going up against another kingdom, and, I mean, and it was taken over, you know? It says, verse 15, it says, Now there was found in it a poor wise man, you know what I mean? Who are these poor, or the poor wise men, or you can say poor wise men? Now, I mean, you can you can apply to these scriptures. Or the elders of GMS, man. Now, I mean, they the, they the poor wise men, man. You know, it says now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city. You know, what I'm saying what? And so through 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 the wisdom of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the elders they're set up to help. Now, I mean, to to usher in the kingdom, to help rule in the elect. That's what, an example of what, delivering the city, man. You know, not them physically delivering us, but through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, them laying down the foundation and delivering the word unto us, brothers, that's delivering the city. Yasharala, Yerushalayim, man. You know what I'm saying? That's us, man. All right? It says, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. Right. But yet, you scoffers and you scorners out there, and this new nigga, you know what I mean, a.k.a. the last dragon, you know what I'm saying, Izar, you know what I mean, you don't, you don't remember the poor or lay none of that to heart, man, you know what I mean, you, all you scoffers and scorners out there, y'all not paying attention to the fact of, of the labor and the toil that the elders of GMS is doing, man, y'all don't remember, y'all not putting in, 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 into thought the good deeds in which they're doing for the nation of Israel, man, you know, uh, <clears throat> said, yeah, yet no man remembered that same poor man. But what did the, the elect remember those poor men? The elect, you know what I mean, keep those men in mind. Yeah, how about Shimmy, how Shai, keep those poor men, you know what I mean, those poor kings in, in mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Us poor kings in mind, man, okay? But not you scoffers and you scorners who are utterly uh, desert for damnation, man, all right? It says, verse 16, then said I, wisdom is better than strength, right? Wisdom of these scriptures is, is better than your carnal ass, thick ass MMA, Bruce Leroy strength, man. Okay? It says, nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. So all this time you've been sitting around the elders, you've been despising their wisdom. 
you haven't been hearing their words, man. You haven't been hearing the words through these scriptures. Because they speak according to the testimony, according to the laws of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai, man. I mean, but obviously you haven't recognized that, man. Alright? It says, the words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. All right, let me read that one more time. It says, the words of wise men are heard in quiet. The words of wise men are heard in quiet. So the wise men's words, the elders of GMS words are heard in quiet. What does that quiet represent? The quiet represents the, the men of the elect or the men of the potential elect that's going to hear those wise men's words. Going to hear and attain to wise counsel. Hear those wise men's speech, man. So when it's talking about, uh, uh, I heard the words of a poor man, a poor man are heard in quiet. They're heard amongst the elect. Which you definitely show that you're not a part of the elect, nigga. Alright? And, and a lot of y'all out there, you know what I mean? People might say, well, why he, you know what I mean? Well, why I gotta, you know what I mean? Uh, why I'm jumping in this, you know what I mean? I'm not GMS, so on and so forth. It's not about that. It's about defending the gospel, man. You know what I mean? And as I said previously, we learn from those great men as well, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't count how many times I done set up and, and watched the elders' lessons or watched Elder Gabar's mailbag, so on and so forth, and you know what I mean? And I, and I gained knowledge from that great man or those great men. You know what I'm saying? Or the wisdom that I've, I've gained from those great men. You know what I'm saying? I can't count the many, how many times, man. You know, constantly and still to this day, man. All right? That's what this is about. This is about defending the gospel, man. You know what I'm saying? All right? It says, um, yeah, the, the words of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. You know what I'm saying? So what? Your cry is among them, I mean, that ruleth among fools, man. You know what I'm saying? And what? Who is the ruler among fools? I mean, who, who that you attain to, that, that nigga a uh, 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 backwash, you know what I mean, Baloo, man. You know what I mean, he's the ruler of y'all that cry amongst the rest of the fools, man. You know I mean, all y'all fools that's crying, and he's the ruler of the rest of y'all fools, man, who's, uh, who's uh, uh, laying waste and utter death and destruction for, it, man. So y'all let him be, be y'all queen, man. Let, let him be y'all, yeah, yeah, how it shall, let him be y'all deliverer, man, in that day. And let's see what's going to happen to you niggas, man. All right? Verse 18, it says, Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. Right, so, I mean, one sinner destroyeth much good, man. And so you you out there, you thinking that you really going to destroy, I mean, the good of, of Israel or the potential elect of Israel, but you're not stopping the Lord's show, man. You know what I mean? The Lord is only using you, you I mean, to weed, to weed out the rest of the two-third niggas out there, man. You know what I mean? So that's what you destined for, man. So good luck and good will hunting for you, nigga. Help help rid out the rest of them two third niggas, man. Alright? Um, yeah, got uh one more scripture, you know what I'm saying, before I close this out. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, the main point is we we poor we poor kings, man. You know what I'm saying? We we possess the, the throne of the kingdom, you know what I'm saying, through these scriptures, man. Alright? We possess the throne of the kingdom through these scriptures, man. And, it, and it's just a matter of time. You know what I'm saying? Before before the Lord uh, rightfully put that crown upon our heads, man. But we poor kings in this society, man. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't set up for us to be rich within the society, man. Alright? Alright, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Right? We sorrowful. What? Because we poor. You know what I mean? We fucked up in the society, man. You know what I'm saying? We still serve in captivity, so we sorrowful. But yet, it says, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. That shows you the richness of spirit of, of, of Israel, man. Now, I mean, we're in the poor states. Now, I mean, you could be down to a loaf of bread and, and, a can, and, and cans of beans for a fucking week. But we can still laugh amongst each other, man. You know what I'm saying? And have a good time. Esau can't do that, man. You know? So, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, man. You know? It says, um, as poor, yet making many rich. So, what? We physically poor, but what? We have the power through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to make many rich by, by delivering this word unto, unto brothers out there, man. That's how we have the power by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to make, to make others rich, man. You know what I mean? Through the riches, the knowledge, the understanding, the wisdom of these scriptures, man. Alright? As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, meaning what? On the physical, as having nothing, being poor kings, but having that kingship, that rulership mentality, okay? As having nothing and yet possessing all things. Let me read that one more time. As having nothing 
and yet possessing all things. What are those all things? The 100% truth of, of, the, of the scriptures, what the elders of GMS have, man. Okay? What is all things? Having the throne of the kingdom. Having access to the kingdom by these scriptures, man. That's possessing all things, man. So are we the true rulers of, of this of this uh of this of the, of, of the world? Yes, we are. Not this world. This is Esau's world, but the world in general. I mean, the world to come. Yes, we are rulers of that. So we are poor kings. Like 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 I pulled out in uh, Ezekiel 16, the Most High just stripped it away from us for a point of time. Now I mean, like it says in our uh, Second Ezra, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, how he said that the world was made for our sakes. So are we the true rightful rulers of this kingdom or of, of this world? Of the world in general? Yes, we are, man. Yes, we are, man. We the rightful rulers of the world, man. Now, I mean, of the, of the world to come, man. You know? So we are poor kings, I mean, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So, um, I mean, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know what I'm saying? Death and destruction to you two thirds of niggas out there, to you scoffers and you scorners, man. May the elect rise, you know what I'm saying? And the day of the Lord is coming there, man. I mean, all praises, honor, and glory be to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to the elders of GMS. Shalom to the legmen out there doing his work of faith and his labor of love and truth and sincerity. Shalom, death to America.